Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this channel, we will share you useful tips and information about health and wellness. Today, we're going to talk about a very common question. Does pregnancy symptoms start at two weeks? And if so, what are the symptoms? But before we start, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. Let's get started. First of all, let's clarify what we mean by two weeks pregnant. You might think that two weeks pregnant means that you conceived two weeks ago, but that's not the case. Pregnancy is calculated from the first day of your last menstrual period, which is usually about two weeks before ovulation. So when you're two weeks pregnant, you're actually in the middle of your fertile window, and you may or may not have conceived yet. So technically, you can't have any pregnancy symptoms at two weeks because you're not pregnant yet. However, you may have some signs of ovulation, which is when your ovary releases an egg that can be fertilized by a sperm. Ovulation usually happens around day 14 of your cycle, but it can vary depending on your cycle length and other factors. Some signs of ovulation include 1. Slippery cervical mucus. This is the vaginal discharge that you may notice in your underwear. It changes throughout your cycle, and around ovulation it becomes clear, stretchy, and slippery, like raw egg whites. This helps the sperm swim to the egg more easily. 2. Mild cramping. You may feel some pain or discomfort in your lower abdomen or pelvis around the time of ovulation. This is called Mittelschmerz, which means middle pain in German. It's usually mild and lasts for a few hours or a day, but it can vary in intensity and duration. 3. Breast tenderness. Your breasts may feel sore or swollen around ovulation due to the hormonal changes that prepare your body for pregnancy. This can also happen before your period, so it's not a reliable sign of ovulation or pregnancy. 4. Increased basal body temperature. Your basal body temperature is your temperature when you first wake up in the morning before you do any activity. It's usually lower in the first half of your cycle and rises slightly after ovulation due to the hormone progesterone. You can track your basal body temperature with a special thermometer and a chart to see when you ovulate. 5. Increased libido. You may feel more sexually aroused around ovulation as your body is biologically primed for conception. This is also influenced by your mood, stress level, and relationship status, so it's not a definitive sign of ovulation or pregnancy. These signs of ovulation can help you identify your most fertile days when you have the highest chance of getting pregnant. You can also use ovulation tests, which detect the surge of luteinizing hormone, LH, in your urine, which triggers ovulation. Ovulation tests are similar to pregnancy tests, but they measure a different hormone. You can buy them online or at a pharmacy. If you do conceive around ovulation, the fertilized egg will travel to your uterus and implant into the lining, usually within 6 to 10 days after ovulation. This is when you're officially pregnant and when you may start to experience some early pregnancy symptoms. However, not everyone has symptoms at this stage, and some symptoms may be very subtle or similar to premenstrual symptoms. So don't worry if you don't feel anything yet or if you feel something different from what you expected. Some early pregnancy symptoms that you may notice by week four, which is two weeks after ovulation, include one, a missed period. This is the most obvious sign of pregnancy, but it's not always reliable, as some people may have irregular periods, spotting or bleeding during early pregnancy. If you miss your period and you think you might be pregnant, you can take a home pregnancy test to confirm it. Pregnancy tests measure the level of human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, in your urine, which is a hormone produced by the placenta. You can take a pregnancy test as early as the first day of your missed period, but you may get a more accurate result if you wait a few days longer. 2. Nausea or vomiting. This is also known as morning sickness, but it can happen at any time of the day or night, it's caused by the high levels of HCG and estrogen in your body, which affect your digestive system and your sense of smell. Morning sickness usually starts around week six of pregnancy, but it can start earlier or later or not at all. Some people may have mild nausea, while others may have severe vomiting that requires medical attention. You can try to ease your nausea by eating small, frequent meals, 
avoiding spicy or greasy foods, drinking ginger tea or lemon water, and wearing acupressure wristbands. Three, fatigue. You may feel more tired than usual as your body is working hard to support your growing baby and your changing hormones. You may also have trouble sleeping due to frequent urination, anxiety, or discomfort. You can try to cope with fatigue by taking naps, going to bed earlier, avoiding caffeine, and exercising moderately. Four, increased urination. You may need to pee more often as your uterus expands and presses on your bladder. You may also have more vaginal discharge, which is normal and helps prevent infections. However, if you have any pain, burning, itching, or foul smell, you may have a urinary tract infection, UTI, or a yeast infection, which are common during pregnancy. You should see your doctor if you have any of these symptoms, as they can affect your health and your baby's health. 5. Mood swings. You may feel more emotional, irritable, or anxious due to the hormonal changes and the stress of pregnancy. You may also have changes in your appetite, cravings, or aversions to certain foods. These are normal and expected, but if you feel depressed, hopeless, or suicidal, you should seek professional help, as you may have prenatal depression, which is a serious condition that affects up to 20% of pregnant people. These are some of the possible symptoms of pregnancy at two weeks and four weeks, but remember that every pregnancy is different, and you may have none, some, or all of these symptoms, or other symptoms that are not listed here. The only way to know for sure if you're pregnant is to take a pregnancy test and see your doctor for confirmation and prenatal care. We hope this video was helpful and informative. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more pregnancy-related videos. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.